Yeah, hi everybody, Ryan here with you again today. Uh, just bought a small battery maintainer. It's not really small, it's kind of big actually, um, as far as uh, amperage goes. Got it off Amazon. Uh, I've got a refrigerator in there and it gets a little bit colder up here in the winter time. And uh, my, I don't like running that APU all the time. It's kind of noisy and all that. And, and I would rather not use the fuel and, and sometimes it doesn't run right and all that so and those uh so i, I picked this up uh, it was about 90 dollars i think on there on amazon we'll put a the link for this model in the uh the comments so if you're interested in getting one uh so this is just going to maintain my batteries now usually for a maintainer they're like one or two amps is what you'll see for like a little tractor or a pickup truck or car or whatever one or two amps is usually sufficient so i went with the 10 amp and uh, we're going to give this a try since I got three batteries in here. Um, I've used my, I've got a bigger battery charger. It's, it's like a 300 amp, but it's got all the different functions the where to do a battery maintain and, and all that stuff. Um, but it's just really big and bulky to get in there. So I think this would be a lot better fit. Uh, so I'm going to take this out of here. And here's what we got. It's got a charger, then they're interchangeable connectors. So it comes with these little battery clamps. And I guess if you wanted to, it's got, uh, you can get a different cord to where you could, uh, it's got eyelets where you could actually like hardwire it in and you could just disconnect it if you wanted to. But uh, I'm just gonna use my uh, jump start ports up here. That's usually what I use for my battery charger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use what they gave me on this. I mean, uh, packaging looks pretty attractive on this thing. Hmm, made in Vietnam. <laughs> Surprising. It actually looks like it's got a little mount there to where uh, if you wanted to screw that up on something, you could mount it up if you were going to use it for something else. Yeah, user guide and instructions. We'll just throw those away. Three-year warranty, it looks like, on there. Uh, plug. That thing, it looks like it's got like a, a pentagon and a circle, so you can't fizzle, you can't hook it up backwards. And that's kind of, that's a nice, like weather pack fitting there. It's got a seal and everything on it. So, well, that's pretty high quality for the most part. So here's uh, your jump start ports, basically. Um, so I'm just gonna hook this up to that. So black to black and red to red. Doing that pretty well. There's a couple of modes. Like right now, I just got it in standard, uh, 
where it charges and then it'll maintain the battery. So I got one light flashing and then it'll take it a couple of seconds here and then it'll jump up, it'll, it'll go, all the lights light up and it'll go to green at the end, the box. And what that means is that it, the batteries are fully charged, but it's still, it'll monitor the battery and maintain it. So if you got something in there um, that's, that's drawing like your refrigerator or whatever, um, as the battery goes down, it's gonna kick back in and, and charge as needed. So, see if this thing's gonna, it was distillate up a minute ago, see if it makes a wire out of me. So there we go, it's building up. Now again, for the type of battery, regular batteries, conventional batteries, you just want regular 12 volt. Um, like I said, AGMs are the, I believe the gel cells and, and lithium, obviously is lithium. So right there, according to the, the little manual there, that means that the batteries are fully charged and it's just maintaining for the most part. Now there's a couple other features on this. You can actually hold, hold this down for three seconds and it lights up, you can go to six volt, six volt AGM. But once you hold it down for three seconds, it puts you down into this range. So it backed out because it knows it's not six volt. <laughs> So you can go to supply, if you go to supply, this puts it in a constant 13.6 volts. So if like, if you're gonna be running something constantly, uh, you could put that on and then to throw 13.6 volts, like, you know, an alternator would uh, to, the, to the batteries. And there's a repair mode. Let me go back to that. This repair mode is where if the batteries it, it basically reconditions the battery if you get a sulfated battery or something of that nature. Um, so it sends different charges and stuff like that to go ahead and, and repair the battery. So if uh, your batteries are getting weak or something or you got an older battery, I guess you could try that and see, uh, put it through that, that cycle and see what happens. But for ours, uh, we're just gonna go to the regular 12 volt and just let it, uh, let it sit here. So that probably kicked back up to green and that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna set that up here somewhere. That should be able to just go ahead and close the hood back up. And that's like pretty much it for that. So we're gonna see, we're gonna give this thing a try, see how it works. And uh, maybe I won't have to, I usually, I'll come out and start my truck about every two days or something. So I'm kind of hoping to prevent that. Then um, I'll usually put, with my, if you use my other charger, I've, I've put a three way connector on the end of the cord. Then I'll hook into my uh, block heater as well too, if it's if it's you know below 30 degrees outside to keep everything warm. So uh, just uh, another little product that I'm I bought and I'm trying out. Uh, so if you're interested in something like that too, uh, I'll go ahead, we'll put a link in here uh, with with this one that we bought, and uh, you guys can if you're having the same issues or haven't you know you want to give it a try, then uh, it'll be there. So I uh, hope that helps you all out. Uh, like I said, appreciate the views. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell for the updates give us a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for more videos like I said we do the uh, trucking videos Landstar owner operator uh, maintenance videos on the truck farming stuff tractors farm maintenance stuff uh, projects around here so uh, we'll do a little bit of everything so uh, we'll see you all next time thanks for watching Bye.